Hey, hey, hey! How everybody do? So, in my last video, I promised to make a tree tutorial video when I hit a thousand subscribers. And since then, 700 people have found my channel. That's just insane. I never thought that I'd actually surpass this, this dream of mine to get a thousand subscribers. And we're on our way already to 2000? This is insane. For all you new chaps, I'm Dan. I'm a technique addict and I love trees. Are you supposed to be chill lo-fi guy or something? Come on, man. I just wanted to edit something to fire. It's a video about trees. And you want it to be fire? Do you not understand what... Oh. Yeah, I am so smart. Ooh. So I just built seven different tree techniques to hopefully improve your trees in your Lego mocks. When I was first starting building trees, I must have been like, what, seven? This is what they looked like. Oh, 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 horrible. It looks so bad. Now, I don't want anybody to take offense to this. The point is, you can make your trees look way more realistic than this. Then there's other people that may just be using the trees that LEGO places in their sets. LEGO really likes to uh, take the family into account, like, this would be perfect for a family road trip. See how much trunk space they got up there? Now, the first technique I recommend everyone starting with is the Ralph tree. Now this technique is really expandable and it's actually quite legal. It's all centered around the flex tube. The basic branch size is a Travis brick surrounded in plates or tiles. And then you can just keep adding branches as many as you want. Make sure to add more thickness to the trunk to make it look more realistic and to add in some curves. These curves are accomplished by placing a two x two round plate and a cheese slope in between some of these branch segments and gradually it will curve and bend. All right, so that wasn't so bad. The next trees we get into go on to the more illegal side. These are going to be some trees that the government does not know about. For number two, we have the tire tree. This tree uses all different shapes and sizes of tires for the trunk, and you can easily get the shaping by placing them around these dino tails. It's important when you're building this tree to flip any textured tires inside out so they don't look as tirey. That is now a word. For the branches, I used droid arms, and actually I was able to use these sausages to get some leaf angling. This is one of the two trees that I used in my Halloween build, and I really like the aesthetic. This tree has a lot of steps, so bear with me as I explain all the details. And here's a parts list if you want to follow along. This tree uses a lot of leaf weaving. Make note that in this example, there's one leaf pointed down and one leaf pointed up. Keep track of this throughout the build. We start with a simple trunk, just a Travis brick with stuff stuck around, placed on a flex tube. Slide on another Travis brick surrounded in four studs, and on each of those studs, put more Travis bricks rotated 45 degrees. Next, you're gonna grab eight of your up and down weaved assemblies and place them on the Travis bricks. This becomes the base. After that, slide on another Travis brick surrounded in four studs, and then more 45 degree Travis bricks. You gotta love the Travis brick. Now just get single leaves and place them facing out on each one of the top studs. This next layer is really complicated and full of mojo, but some of the techniques it uses are really important for this type of tree, so I'd recommend building it anyway and then maybe you could improve it yourself. Of course we started with a Travis brick, this one's surrounded in U-clips, and then pull out these sideways clips and clip them in. Do this at your own risk because it's pretty straining on the parts, 
but it allows really nice angles. For the front and the back, you're gonna place these two studs, and then you're gonna pull out these three leaf assemblies. Two of them are all facing down, and then the other two are down, up, down. I now spend the next 20 minutes fiddling with this. Let's just say it's easier to put together when it's off of the flex tube. For the clips without the studs, you're gonna place the down, up, down leaves, and then the ones with the studs, you're gonna place on after with the all down leaves. And finally, make a weave of eight leaves, place one on top, and then fit this on. <sighs> We're done. Now I know there's like only one person following along there, so let's move on to some cooler stuff. All right, I'm back. I actually had to go get some yogurt after that one. Let's move on to, uh, what number are we on? Number six. So this here is a birch tree, and I'm actually gonna be using this in my next mock, so I'm not gonna tear it down, but I used a lot of parts to get the black accents that you see in birch trees, like minifigure hands, studs, technique pins, and then I was able to get some angles with more droid arms and skeleton arms, and then I wrapped it all in this Spider-Man web string piece and rubber bands just to get more texture. This part honestly isn't that realistic, but in my mind, it looks cool. So, of course, it has to be there. For number five, we have the classic pine tree. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen this before, but if you haven't, you can go check the video out right there. This basically just uses different layers of leaf weaving to get the taper and then this really cool trunk. I designed this textured trunk because Using 2x2 two two round bricks doesn't look so good, and I knew I could do something better than that. To achieve this sick texture, I use a lot of bars surrounded in whips. Usually in this type of tree, I have a central beam going up. This allows for a lot more structure and helps me connect some of the whips. It's not always needed, but it makes the build a lot easier. In my opinion, you can never go wrong with sick pine, and it's a really good tree to know how to build. This is the second tree that I used in my Halloween build, and I only had one black whip, so I had to find a different way for holding all these bars together to get this cool texture. In this case, I used strings and even some rubber bands. Lego ones, of course. We like to keep it purest. Alright, so I started with this base. I used these clips to angle the first couple bars, just so I could get that good shaping down. And then once I did that, I was able to wrap around the strings. Once you got that down, just start fitting in bars like usual, and then you got your beautiful trunk. Alright, so I think it's pretty clear that I like to build trees with a lot of bars, and even sometimes I'll add in the occasional musket or spear, but relatively simple. Sometimes though, when I'm feeling really frisky, I pull out all the stops. All right, so the monkey tree is not for the faint of heart. This tree is crazy. This thing takes a long time to build. It requires so many different weird parts, and it's kind of like a big flex to put in your mocks. So now, what you've all been waiting for, let me show you how to build the monkey tree. All right, so first you're gonna to wanna to put And that's how it's done. So there you go, seven different tree techniques that you can use in your mocks. Now I could talk about trees for hours, so if you want to see another video like this, let me know down in the uh, in the uh, the subscribe section below. Uh, uh, subscribe, S subscribe. 